So this is downtown Shaver Lake, my home away from home, my little hideout in the mountains. And the great news is we just added the taco truck to downtown. More on that in a little bit. First, we've got to talk about Spencer Burford. He's going to be the 49ers starting right guard this year. There's a lot of belief that he's taken the next step. He was technically a starter last year, but he split time with Daniel Brunskill. He never quite grabbed hold of the job, and he was the worst 49ers starter along the offensive line. Chris Furster, 49ers offensive line coach, talked about Spencer Burford this past week. And we could see it with our own eyes out of practice, but he's bigger and stronger. He's cut a lot of that baby fat. He was a rookie last year out of a smaller school in San Antonio. And I think, you know, his body looks a lot more NFL ready now. But the main thing that Furster said is he said he pulled Burford into his office. And he told him, and Colton McKivitz came in too, and he told both of those guys, do not be looking over your shoulders. You have these jobs if you continue performing the way that you're performing. Nothing is a given. You have to continue producing. But apparently both Burford and McKivitz have impressed the 49ers enough to where they feel good about their trajectories at right guard and right tackle. Think of the implications here. If Burford does indeed make a significant stride, the 49ers will have addressed the biggest weakness along their offensive line, and that's the right guard position. That was the weak spot last year. And if McKivitz indeed does the job, they could even get better at pass protection at right tackle. Furster's already said, and I think we already know, that McKivitz is not going to be a better run blocker than Mike McGlinchey at right tackle. McGlinchey was one of the best right tackles in football. But if you can upgrade the pass protection at right tackle with a change in personnel, McKivitz over McGlinchey, and if you can upgrade right guard in general with a standalone 100% of the snaps kind of guy in Spencer Burford through a year two jump, which it looks like he physically is ready to make, well, then you're cooking with gas if you're the 49ers. And I'll tell you guys what, downtown Shaver Lake is cooking with gas, give you a little bit of a tour. You can check out the Hungry Hut. That's a staple here in downtown. Check out the Pub and Grub, the Shorthorn Bar and Grill. They got a great pool table there. But, you know, the problem had always been that you could get burgers and bar food. Now this new taco truck, Rico's Taco Truck, has completely changed the game in Shaver Lake. And today, just kind of wandering through town. It's a small downtown. It's not very big. But I saw the taco truck today, and I decided that I had to give it a try. Up here at a mile high. Shaver Lake. And it's an absolute game changer. I know it's a taco truck, but I consider it a burrito truck. These are awesome. And they didn't have Mexican food up in this town up until now. Out of Carruthers. Really, really good. I mean, it's on par with anything in the Bay Area. Unbelievable. So Shaver Lake is on the map now when it comes to Mexican food.